Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. So, reoccurring viewers probably don't know this, but any new viewers, I just want to let you know that I love light guns. Like, I really love light guns. And three years ago, I was introduced to the gun for IR from Ray at RPEG Electronics. And since then, I have had a ton of different kinds of those gun for IR guns, both rifle, pistol, whatever. Now, the Gun for IR is an amazing product because you can get them through suppliers like Ray, but you can also do your own gun. And there's been a ton of guys I know that have built their own Gun for IR guns uh, using any kind of shells, you know, usually other light guns or uh, toy guns or stuff like that. And I think it was finally time for me to try my hand at building my own Gun for IR. Uh, with a little encouragement from Ray, I decided that my light gun would be the M41A Pulse Rifle. I'm kind of a fan of the Aliens franchise. My entire light gun cabinet is themed in that. My original game that I really wanted to play, I would have a dedicated cabinet just for this, would be Aliens Extermination. Uh, I made the gun cart using original Aliens Extermination uh, mounted guns. But uh, they're small, they're cute, they're fun, but it isn't a full-size unmounted pulse rifle. Now this originally started as a Nerf gun. So the, uh, I've had a couple of those Nerf guns since they came out. I like taking them down, painting them for uh, myself and my friends. Um, and I had one more that I was going to be taking down and painting, but I figured this would be the perfect time and the perfect chance to go ahead and try to do my first light gun conversion. So this, aside from the paint job, I had to sand down the raised lettering for the Nerf and Aliens logos. And uh, then, of course, a lot of the striping and lettering was also raised, so all that had to be sanded down and repainted. I went with an olive drab and a satin black, and, of course, a metallic chrome for the grenade ejection port here. So then I contacted Ray and got a one of his Gunfire IR DIY kits, which had everything I needed. He supplied me with a 24-volt solenoid, a rumble motor, the Arduino Pro Micro that runs the whole thing, as well as pre-configured breakout boards for the recoil and rumble uh, controls. So along with the great instructions uh, that he and JB supplied for wiring everything up, uh, I just decided to get to work. The two extra things that I included on this pulse rifle build was a uh, COB LED strip in the barrel. And I kept the ammo counter mostly functional. It's, uh, it's cosmetic, it doesn't actually tie with any of the games, but it does work. It keeps the original two buttons where you can set the max ammo. And then when you fire the weapon, it ammo counts down. And when you use the pump, the ammo will reload to that number that you set. That's uh, just a great little feature. You can't really see the counter much when you're playing the game anyway. So it's, it's just something that the counter moves up and down and that classic red glow from the side. I don't think the pulse rifle would have been complete without it. So now I'm going to take you through a little bit of the build process. First and foremost, I had to take this Arduino Pro Micro and get it all wired up to go out to the various components. Then I had to find a good place to mount the camera, and it looks like a perfect fit was going to be the old grenade launcher hole. So this is a good fit for the wide angle lens on the outside and the IR camera mounted on the inside. And the recoil solenoid was a no brainer. It's a perfect fit for the old battery compartment. And then finally, the rumble motor fit perfectly in the handle. I of course repurposed the original trigger switch, but I removed the switch and plastic assembly for the old flywheel switch below it because I didn't really need another button and I also needed to clear that channel to make room for the USB cable to come out of the handle. Next I picked up this super bright COB red LED strip that's already set up to run off 24 volts. So then I took a length of this LED and mounted it to this piece of clear plastic that I could put right in the barrel. And my plan here is to just take the 24 volt line that's going to my recoil solenoid, split it off so that it also powers the LED. That way, whenever the solenoid fires, the LED strip blinks. So next, I wanted to take a look at the ammo counter. So this is the circuit board that connects to the ammo counter via the ribbon cable. So I'm leaving the ribbon cable in place. And then the important wires to note on this PCB are the white, green, black, and red. The white wire went to a button that was held down whenever there was an ammo clip in place. So as long as these two wires are touched together, then the counter shows ammo. When you disconnect them, it shows it as double dashes, and when you reconnect it again, it's going to show full ammo again. 
the green wires here connected to a button that was hit by the actuator for the Nerf gun. So every time it loaded a dart, it would hit this button. So anytime these two wires on the green circuit here touch, your ammo counter is going to go down by one. This black wire here is the ground wire. Your red wire here powers the ammo counter. And you have a little bit of variety here. This thing will actually run on anything from 3 to 6 volts. So I tapped it directly to the 5 volt raw circuit on the Pro Micro board, and it powers it all just fine. So this is a three-way micro switch that I've wired inside the gun. The pump is going to actuate this switch. So when the pr switch is pressed down, it's going to be a right click on the gun for IR. But when the switch is released, the normally closed circuit is going to be connected to those white wires on the ammo counter LCD. So that way, whenever you pump the gun, it's going to go ahead and reload that circuit on the uh, ammo counter. And then back here at the solenoid, it's super low tech. I took the two green wires and I put one end on the plunger and one end on the base of the solenoid. So whenever the solenoid fires, these two pieces touch each other and it counts down the ammo circuit. And here's everything all wired up. We've got our camera, our LED. I'm repurposing the front trigger. There's my new switch for the pump, the Arduino. Repurposing the trigger. There's the LED counter board up in the handle, the recoil solenoid in the old battery compartment. And here's the rumble motor and USB cord coming right down out of the handle. And here's my first test of everything. Let's test recoil. Now all that was left was to button up the shell and plug it into my arcade cabinet. Yeah, it seems to be working great. So uh, yeah, this was my first Gun for Ira build. Uh, it was a little challenging, but it was a lot of fun. Um, I hope that you guys found this informative or entertaining. If you have any other questions about this build, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.